What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yelsen and I hope you enjoyed this video. In today's video I'm gonna be playing some games of Block Wars Bridges together with the legend himself called Formula Honey. Uh, as you can see on screen right now, as we go to the leaderboards, he is on the third place in the leaderboards with 1600 wins which is absolutely insane. And I'm gonna be playing some games with him today. I'm gonna tell you the best strategy of Block Wars. I'm gonna tell you what it is good for if you don't really want to play it just to win or to get onto the leaderboard and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy and let's hop straight into the video before we hop into the video I'm gonna tell you guys about a giveaway I'm doing I'm buying this Valentine's pack and I can give it away to one of you guys because if you buy one you get one to give away well all you need to do to win is subscribe to my channel like this video share this video with three friends and comment done together with your username and then I'll pick one on stream so I hope you enjoy and let's hop straight into the video we hopped into the first game and I'm gonna tell you everything about Block Wars. Let's get started. So how this game mode works is you basically have to bridge over to the other island and then once you're there they have a pit and if you jump in there you can see on the right we get a point. If you get 25 points you win the game or also if the timer stops you can see a timer on the right as well. If it goes down to zero the team with the high score will have won the game. Whoa, okay. Um, so yeah, well, I wanted to tell you guys um, his strategy on how to win the most. Well, as you know from the intro, this guy has 1,600 wins right now. Um, so how do you get to 1,600 wins? Well, it's really not that, really not that difficult to uh, understand, basically, because like. You need to get wins quickly if you want to get up to 1,600 wins. So what he does is they just speed uh, they just speed run and try to win the game as fast as possible. They don't want to wait for the five minutes mark to end the game and have the high score. No, they want to get 25 as quick as possible. So they don't really defend that much. They just go attacking most of the time. I think one of them maybe does defend, but the rest of them just like. They just go attacking because, like, we need to get to 25 points as fast as possible. Um, apparently, the record for the fastest speed run on this is 42 seconds, which I really don't understand. How is that even possible? I'm not sure if that's true, but apparently it was. Um, I think this game is already going really fast. We also had like a one minute game, one minute 58 seconds game early, earlier, but I really don't see how it could be like faster than one and a half minutes because that's just insane in my opinion. Um, yeah, so I told you guys their strategy about, um, about how to win as quick as possible, but like also, um, the enemies could be defending like they do now, which is really hard to get points quickly. Well, you can see these power-ups everywhere. They are very good because uh, one of them can be TNT, and if you have TNT, it's just like normal TNT. Uh, it it like ignites immediately when you place it down, which means you can just destroy their entire pit defense by just one TNT, which is really good. Well, we don't have the TNT currently, so we kind of have to get in there. Oh, I have no blocks anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, let's just try to go next to it. Okay. So, you can always try to kill him, I guess. Um, if you like defending and like to take the game a little bit slower, it's definitely possible. Also, now they voted for speed boost because they have the rank, but you don't necessarily need that. You can still win without it. But if you play this a lot, I would definitely re recommend to, uh, for you to buy it because it's a really awesome game mode in my opinion. At first I didn't really like to play Block Wars, but now I really do. Because like, if you play Egg Wars or something a lot, and you want to get better at bridging, block clutching, PvPing, everything is in this game mode. It's a really good game mode to like get better because like, you are constantly fighting on a bridge, which means like when you're playing Egg Wars and you're on a bridge and you have to like know how to fight, this will help you a lot with that. So you don't necessarily need to go for the leaderboards place. You can just try to get better at Egg Wars. As you can see like right now this guy 
try to still land on the bridge even though I hit him with the boat. That is stuff you can practice in here, which is why it's a really good game mode to level up. Um, like I said, you can also practice speed bridging or like bridging next to the wall. Wow, that was terrible though. I'm not really that good in it, but like... You can definitely try it all out in here. You can just be creative and try some new stuff, which is really awesome. Um, wow, so that is kind of like building onto the wall, I guess. It's also a part, well, it's not really the same, but uh, what I want to talk about next is block clutching, which is something you can definitely practice on this game mode. Um, whoa, I'm getting clapped, dude. Oh my god, I should not have PvP'd with him. Well, um, let's hop into the next game and then I'll tell you guys about block clutching. If you guys don't know what a block clutch is yet, it's basically when you're in a fight uh, and you're on an island or a bridge and someone knocks you off but you still save it last second. Uh, I think you can practice this a lot on this game mode as you're fighting on a bridge and it's really effective and that's why I really like it. Well guys, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up today's video, so I really hope I explained everything well. Uh, I really hope you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.